Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We are in book two, chapter three, writing linear equations and functions, lesson three. Write an equation given the slope and one coordinate. I would prefer to say coordinate point, but let's go with that. What is the equation of the linear function whose slope is three and contains the point two, four? Now I'm gonna follow these directions, but first, uh, let me grab a yellow highlighter because, you know, I still like to highlight that line yellow. It reminds me to look for the y-intercept. Y for yellow, y for y-intercept. You understand me. All right, now, plot the given point 2, 4. That means that the x is 2 and the y is 4. So along the x line, I go to 2. Then up the y line, I go to 4 to get my point 2, 4. Use the slope 3 to plot additional points. Now 3 is really 3 over 1. And I'm going to go up 3 and right 1. So from here, up 3, 1, 2, 3, right 1. Oh, darned. That's not a lot of points, is it? I could reverse the whole thing, and then if I reverse three up, that's three down. And if I reverse one right, it's one left. So you have to reverse both. So now I'm gonna go one, two, three down, one left. One, two, three down, one left. I'm gonna do that all the way across, three down, one left, until I kind of cover my whole coordinate plane. I'm gonna grab my ruler. Here we go, hello. And when I connect the points, I'm gonna go above the grid, through all my points, and below the grid. Arrows on both sides. Now, what's the y-intercept? Well, looking at the yellow line, it crosses at negative two. So what's the y-intercept? B equals negative two. So what's the equation of the line? Well, an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So b is negative two and m is the slope three. So my equation, I'll change colors, make it stand out a little, is y equals three for the slope, three x, don't forget the x, but I'm not gonna write plus negative two, I'm just gonna write minus two, because plus negative two and minus two are the same. So my equation is y equals three x minus two. All right, now what if we don't have a graph? Well, it's not that bad. So what if we don't have a graph? We're gonna follow some directions here. First, substitute the slope and the given points into the equation y equals mx plus b. What I like to do is I like to identify all my pieces. I, know, I have to know my x and my y and my m and my b. So my x from up there was two. My y is four. My m is three. And b is what I'm looking for. So now I substitute what I know into this equation. So starting with y is four, m is three. It's, there's a parenthesis because mx means three times whatever x is. So three times two. And I don't know what b is. Solve for b, subtract the constant value from both sides. Okay, I can do that. So I would have, when I multiply it, four equals six plus b. I'm gonna subtract six from both sides and negative two equals b. Now, I found my missing b from up here. b was negative two or is negative two. So I'm gonna take this information and I'm gonna substitute it down here. I don't need the x and the y to write an equation. I only need the m and the b. So y equals three x minus two. 
it's kind of easy once you get the hang of it. In my opinion, you should always write down the given information before you substitute it. It will help you in the long run. So let's do some practice problems. Here we go. A line has a slope of five. So I already know m equals negative five. Passes through the point negative two x. I don't know b. I know x is negative two and I know y is eight. Write an equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So it's b that I'm looking for. Write down the equation, y equals mx plus b. Substitute what you know. y is eight, m is negative five, x you're multiplying times negative two plus b. Eight equals, negative times negative is positive 10 plus b. Subtract 10 from both sides, negative two equals b. Now I know my b is negative two, and it's only these two pieces of information that I need. So y equals negative five x minus two. There is my equation from a point and a slope. Point and slope, not bad, not bad. We got this, we got this. A line has a slope of two and passes through the point one, five. So again, the M is two. I don't know what the B is. X is one, Y is five. Just taking that from this information. Now, Y equals MX plus B. Fill in what I know. Y is five. M is two. I don't know what X is. Wait, sorry, I do know what X is. I'm multiplying times X, but it's B that's missing. So five equals two plus B minus two from both sides. Three equals B. So now I know my missing number is three and I only need M and B for my equation. Y equals 2x plus 3. Always go back to fill it into that equation, y equals mx plus b. All right, let's do another one. Yay! Write down the information you know. m equals negative 25. b, I don't know. x is 10 and y is 3. So my slope is negative 25. I don't know B. I have X is 10, Y is three. Write the equation, Y equals MX plus B. Substitute the given information. Three equals M is negative 25 times X is 10 plus B. Three equals negative 250 plus B Add 250 to both sides. And 253 equals B. Well, that is a lot of B. Now, fill that back in up here. And this, really, Bono, did you just write B again instead of 250? Yes, I did, sorry. 253. And this is the information I need. I need the M and the B. So fill in M and B. Y equals negative 25 X plus 253. Put a box around it, because it's done. Oops. Checkpoint two. Oh my goodness, I didn't make you do checkpoint one. I'm the worst. All right, you do checkpoint two. I'll wait for you. Pause the video. All right, I hope you tried the problem because the only way to learn math is to do math. And I was bad and just went on ahead without you. Here we go. M, slope has a 13, passes through the point nine, negative four. So I don't know B. I need X and Y. X is nine, Y is negative four. 
All right. Y equals mx plus b. Y is negative 4, and that equals m is 13, x is 9. They don't know b. 13 times 9 is, um, let's see, 90. I want to say 107, but you know what? Let's just double check due to the elderliness of the Mrs. Bono here. 13 times 9 is 117. See, I would have gotten it wrong. Bad math in my head this morning. So, 117 plus B. Subtract 117 from both sides. And, well, since I have it there, and I'm just going to change the sign, negative 1, 1, 7, uh, minus 4, negative 121, equals B. Okay, write it as an equation. Y equals 13X minus 121. Yay, us. All right. And the next page is independent practice, and that is your homework. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.